Hi, my name is Nikki and I'm one of the personal trainers here up in Westwood in Leopardstown. Today I'm going to take you through the basic warm-up of the Stop Pilates workout. Now the benefits of Pilates are improved posture, longer leaner muscles, core strength and stability, coordination, improves flexibility, not only that it also enhances your athletic performance as well so it can be quite sport specific as well as that it's also a great way for post rehabilitation so there's a huge amount of benefits as well for this okay so again as I said I am going to bring you through the basic warm-ups which I'd like you to practice at home okay so the first exercise that we will be doing in our warm-up is going to be our breathing okay so I want your two hands just in front of your shins your feet are going to be hip distance all right knees are flexed feet firmly flat onto the ground. I'm gonna sit up straight, okay? My spine is nicely stacked, nicely neutral, okay? Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as I exhale through my pursed lips, I'm gonna flex forward, bringing my hands just over my feet. And I'm gonna relax my head down there. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And exhale. Inhaling in. And exhale all the way back up to your starting position. Okay, and we're gonna try that once more. Inhaling in, and exhale. So your breath pattern should be that of like an accordion. So every time I take a deep breath in, feel that rib cage expand. And as I breathe out, let's feel it go tighter. So you wanna feel that breath all the way around your chest, and your back. Inhaling in again once more. And as we exhale, slowly restack your spine, shoulders back, spine in neutral, and then back down to starting position. Okay? All right. Next one we'll be going to our imprint and release. Okay, this is extremely important when doing anything in Pilates. We do always need to find that imprint and then our neutral spine as well. Okay? So again, my feet are going to be flat onto the ground, my knees are flexed. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my hips forward and back. Okay, I don't know if you see there, it's forward and back. So when I stop and I've got a slight curvature in the spine, which is, is a slight curvature in your spine, okay, that's your neutral position. Everybody's different. So when there is actually a slight curvature in the spine, okay, and it's comfortable for you, that's where your neutral position is. So we're going to find our imprint, okay, so that's where we want the lower lumbar flat into the mat, okay. So this is this area here. So I'm going to take my two fingers, I'm going to place them onto my hip bone. I'm going to place one onto the corner of my, onto my lower ribs, okay. I'm going to take a deep breath in through the nose. And as I exhale, I'm going to press that lower lumbar into the ground, okay. I'm going to make this here smaller. So the four corners that I have, your transverses and your obliques, I'm going to bring that together, okay? So you wrap the obliques around, the flat surface is just underneath. If you can't feel it, bring two fingers just underneath. If you can't fit two fingers underneath, okay? That's your imprint position. And inhale, and exhale, release. Back to neutral spine. Again, inhaling in. Exhale, four corners together, transverses and your obliques, lower lumbar flat into the mat. Inhale and exhale release and again we're going to go for one more so our imprint to position find those four corners bring those four corners together inhaling in exhale and release and again inhaling in exhale four corners together, transverses on your obliques. So you want to make this area here as small as possible and this area underneath here with no gaps in between it and release it back out. So next we're going to go for our hip release. My hands are going to be down by my side. Again my feet are firmly flat onto the ground, my knees are flexed. Okay. We're going to keep our spine in a neutral position here. I'm going to bend my leg, laterally bring my knee out, I'm going to fully extend and back to starting position. Inhale. Again, neutral spine, laterally rotate, bring that knee down, like fully extend and bring it back to normal. Okay, we're gonna go for three on each side. 
So again, right leg. And again. So our main thing here is we just want to open up the hip joint ready for our exercises, okay? If you find that you're coming up on the opposite side, place your hand down and keep it on the ground, okay? And again. And then back to starting position, neutral spine and relax. Okay, next for our spinal rotation. Look, two hands out in front. I'm gonna bring my right hand on top of my left hand or vice versa, okay? My knees are bent. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that I can see my knees in the corner of my eye, okay? So what I want, I want you to push that hip right down. So we do want a bit of a gap between our obliques and our mat. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in. As I inhale, I'm gonna reach my arm to the top, okay? Follow it through my head, reach to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, we're gonna rotate it back around, okay? So you feel that nice stretch along the oblique and also on the spine. And then inhale, all the way back around. Okay, and again, we're gonna inhale in, reach, reach, reach to the ceiling, feel that stretch and exhale. all the way back around, inhaling in again. Okay, we're gonna try one more on this side and then we're gonna flip it around, inhale. Make sure that hip is down and exhale. Feel that stretch, inhale to prepare, all the way back around to our starting position. Okay, we're into box position. Okay, for the cat stretch, we're in box position. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders. My knees are directly underneath the hips, okay? So what we wanna do is we really wanna lengthen out that spine. So that crown of the head is gonna really push, okay? We're gonna push it towards the opposite wall and we're gonna really lengthen out that spine. I'm gonna take a deep breath in through the nose and as we exhale through those pursed lips, I'm gonna curl the coccyx all the way up to the thoracic, up to the cervical spine, relax that head down, push those shoulders down, separate or push those hands down and separate those shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Back to starting position. Inhale in again. Curl that coccyx all the way in, as far as you can. Push, vertebrae by vertebrae, push, 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 push. Relax that head, take it easy, inhale. And exhale, back down to starting position. Okay, and that's the cat stretch. Okay, so we're just gonna finish up here on the first part of this with our hip rolls, okay? So again, I want you lying down, okay, in prone position, so your feet are firmly flat onto the ground again, okay? Your knees are flexed, and again, we're gonna stay in neutral spine. Hands are just down by your side, okay? What we're gonna do, I'm gonna inhale in, and as I exhale, I'm gonna lift my hips directly up, Inhale to prepare, and exhale down. And again, inhale. As I lift, my hips are in line with my knees, but making sure that my ribs don't go over my hips, okay? So there are only a couple of exercises in which I've given you our basic warm-up of what Pilates is, okay? If you want, you're more than welcome to come up here and we can try out the classes up in Westwood Up in Leopard Town, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. You're more than welcome to pop up for beginners, advanced and intermediate.